Hey guys, what's up today? We're going to be painting some bullet weights, worm weights, soft plastic weights, whatever you like to call them. And I use the Ozark Trail. You can get a pack of seven half ounce ones for like 89, 94 cents over at Walmart. Uh, super cheap. And the quarter ounce cost is like 89 cents a pack. You get 10 of those. And the three quarter ounce, I think they come in like seven in a pack as well. I've been painting lead weights and I've been painting jig heads well before I ever started filling with YouTube. Fingernail polish, the LA colors like this right here. That's the brand I use. You can get, I get mine at Family Dollar. You can also pick it up at Walmart, I believe, and also at the dollar store. And then the top coat, the finishing coat I put on it is this clear coat. This is the diamond. That's the most expensive. That's like $1.89 a bottle. And all my fingernail polishes, uh, pretty much all of them has got the hardener in them. And I'm going to be taking you through step by step how I do this from start to finish with my primary colors that I use myself for soft plastics. And what you need, I've got a minnow bucket lid, an old minnow bucket lid, a good sturdy cardboard box of work, like a cleaning sponge, a big thick cleaning sponge, anything that you can stick a toothpick in. Now what I do with my weights, I'll just take them and just slide a toothpick in them. That way I can hold them like that. When I once get done painting them, I just job them in and let them dry. And as fast as I paint them, when I get done painting one set, they're dry and they're ready for another coat of paint. Uh, I do a base coat, then I do my primary color, and then I'll add some like clear blue flake to some of them. We'll be doing that as well. I paint some in chartreuse and red and so on, but we're gonna be doing all of that right now so let's get with it i hope you can hear me pretty good with this fan running right here i like having some air circulating when i'm using fingernail polish but this is one of the bullet weights right here and i've got all of these already base coated and what i use to base coat with this is a lacquer this is a 164 watt and all you need to do is just put a very thin coat on. Do not gum this on. You want to start at the larger side and work your way forward putting this on. And all you're doing is just covering up that lead. And by the time you get all of them uh, base coated, it's time to start painting the other ones. They're already dry. So let's start with the primary colors now. The first color that I'm going to be using, this is a green, and it's got like a fine metal flake in it, like a gold, silverish type metal flake in it. And all you got to do is start right at the back, just like when you was putting that base coat on, and just brush up. Do not gum it on. A little bit goes a long ways when you're painting lead weights. Okay, just like it right there, that one's finished. Next up, we're going to be doing a black blue flake, and this is a number 412 right here in the black. So like I said in the, uh, on the first one, always start at the back and work your way forward. And this has got the hardener in it. Okay. When you once get done painting one, you want to just take that uh, toothpick and just spin it a few times. And that evens that fingernail polish out across that weight. Okay, guys. When I once get the black done, just like this right here, I like hitting some of them with this. This is number 448 right here. And it's also got the hardener in it. And this is a clear, like a crushed blue metal flake. And you just have to brush across it. And it really makes that black pop out with that blue metal flake in it. Well, guys, when I was editing in the video, I forgot to paint one in the purple this is a 417 you can see right here it's got the hardener in it as well and this is what it looks like on the weight right here when you once get it painted when i get done uh doing my purples i put 
this this is a clear uh, purple it's got a little red in it a little blue metal flake I do all my purples I coat them with this after I get done this has also got the hardener in it right here that's a 447 and that just gives it a little extra color just pops that purple out a little bit for you this is a red this is like a dark red it's got the hardener in it as well as you can see right there this is a 400 just light coats on it it doesn't take much at all when we get done just give it a couple of spins like it right there and another color I do is chartreuse just a light coat on it just like so and that just makes it pop out like that right there it's just going to give it a little bit more color like if you're throwing soft plastics with chartreuse in them like a saline stain dirty water coffee color water like a copperish brown right here and it's just a good all around neutral color it's got real fine a little bit of fine metal flake in it and that is a real nice color right there it's another one of my favorites for just a good all-around neutral color the colors painted I like using this clear diamond here just like on this green flake right here and you just have to put a very thin coat of this on okay I got that one give it a little spin and there you go well guys we just got done and if you like the video I hope you give us thumbs up that'll help us out here share the video and subscribe to our channel if you're not a subscriber and uh, we'd love to have you follow us over on Facebook Instagram and TikTok as well and until next time guys I hope you catch some big ones and we'll see you right here again have a great day